Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at how you can bring in your meta human characters directly into Maya and use them for your personal stuff. Now getting the meta human into Maya and getting it well shaded and also usable is a little bit tricky. So we're going to go ahead and talk about how you can work with this one. And for anyone who would like to, you know, follow along with this, link is going to be in the description where you can download all of these assets. So getting started, you would need to get a fresh copy of Maya, which you can actually download you can get a trial version and start working with it and then you would need to also be able to get the quick sell bridge now if you get the quick sell bridge you register with the folks at epic you would also notice that right here once you have it opened that will have a section called meta humans now within the meta humans there's a meta human preset that is available and you can simply go through and download from a long list of 58 free characters that you can actually you know play with and do some very cool stuff with so let's say you want to download any of these ones all you need to do is just simply click on the download button here to start downloading this and it's very interesting to know that the quick sell bridge does have plugins for several apps so how do you install the plugins that you'll be working with and to do that you need to go over to edit go over right here to where you have your manage plugins click on that button and you would see all of the plugins that exist right here so if you need for cinema 4d you can simply click on that button and start downloading that of cinema 4d if you need for houdini you can do the same if you need for clarice you can also do the same so we've already installed that of unreal engine maya blender and uh, cinema 4d right now and also mamoset so working with this is going to be an easy breeze so to get this for maya what you need to do is to click on this button right here click on the gear button and you need to go over to where you have the download settings and within the download settings go over to where you have models and make sure that this is set to source asset and not unreal engine asset okay so make sure that this is set to source asset because if we click on this button now you will notice that we have the unreal asset and then we have the source asset or you can choose to download the unreal asset and also the source asset as well so i'm just simply going to select the source asset and for this example what we've done is we've kept this the same way it is set this to obj you can actually set this to fbx if you choose or alembic depending on what you want to create and then you can select the model that you want and finally hit the download button so what we've done we've simply downloaded this particular character known as emory and uh, it looks pretty nice now if you also have access to the meta human creator you can click on this button to go online and start creating more stuff which once you save them they would come over to the pixel bridge so with all of this done the next thing which you need to do once you have this downloaded you can click on the export button and this would automatically export this model over to maya so once you export this model and it jumps over to maya the first things which you would notice is it's going to take a while it's going to load this and you would notice that you have a simple file like this now with this file right here there's a couple of cool things which i would like to share with you guys before you get started with pulling buttons and also playing with the blend shapes and probably animating this so one thing to note is these characters are fully rigged and they are not as one piece so you have the head shape which you can actually you know manipulate independently so if i go through and start playing with this one right now you'd notice it is uh, independent and then we have the body shape as well and all the way down you can see that we have the flip-flop which you can also tweak independently and this looks pretty nice now you'd also notice that as cool as this looks we still don't have textures if i go over and turn on the texture section this is going to load up but we cannot see it now the reason why we can't see the texture now is because these textures are made by simply using the direct x shader now maya does have a direct x shader which actually gives you real-time rendering or should i say real-time preview of how your model will look like within the final render so to make this active so that you can see the textures and also play with lighting whenever you're working with a direct x shader for example with something like this you need to go over to windows go down here to where you have your settings and let's just simply cut this out now if you go over to this section you have your plugins you need to click on the plugin manager and now simply type in the word x11 all right so once you type in the word x11 the direct x shader 11 shows up and make sure that you have this set to loaded now once you have it loaded you can also switch this to auto load and close it now once you do that go over to the preference section and with the preference right here you need to go over to where we have our display and within the display scroll all the way down go over to your rendering engine and set this to direct x11 now once you do this maya would require you to restart the viewport or you know simply restart maya 
click on OK, save this and restart Maya. So once you restart Maya, this is going to come up like this. And you can now see that we have this beautiful thing right here. So I do know that most of, you know, a lot of people don't know that Maya actually have this uh, real time preview or real time stuff happening directly within the viewport. But now you can see. So this is using the direct X shader to actually shade this and it looks really, really nice. A couple of things to mention. Once you get these models, you would not see anything like hair and you would not see any clothes on them. So you're just going to see the plain old model like this and maybe a couple of, you know, pants to cover some parts and, uh, you know, the flip flop. With that out of the way, let's talk about level of detail. So there are a couple of level of details that exist with this model. Of course, you can, you know, bundle this out of here and send it over to a 3D app of choice and start working with it. But it's cool to know that if you go over to where you have your channel box and go over to the display section, there are level of details that you can manipulate. So let's say we want to turn this off and we can turn on a second level of detail. Let's actually select this so you can see. So I can turn this off, turn this on, select that and you can see we have way more geometry there. And this goes all the way down, down, down. And we can also do the same thing for the head. So if we go over to where we have the head and we select the head right now, you would notice that it's a bit more, you know, uh, defined. You can take a look at the second one, take a look at the third one, take a look at the fourth one. And you know, you get the idea. This is how, you know, these things work all the way down. But if you want something that has more visual fidelity, you need to go over to the highest level of detail and turn this one on. So we're just going to focus on the head right now and take a look at some of these, you know, facial controllers that exist. And uh, one of the main questions you would ask is if the pose will stretch. And uh, what about the, you know, things like the fat, the muscles, you know, the, the blood vessels, I guess these guys figured all of these things out and it just looks pretty cool. So by taking a look at what we have here, you can see it's a very professional looking one and we can use this to control the jaw. So right now we can make this character open the mouth and we can use this to also move the jaw however we want. Now, if you're working with this and maybe on your PC it becomes slow, you don't really have, you know, all of that best performance. You can always drop this to something that is, you know, something that you can work with so you can use this to do some very cool things like that but like we said earlier if you need something of high fidelity then you need to go back and get to the head uh, level of detail zero so with this now we can also choose to set this to a given position and if we select these other parts we can use this to play with the positioning of the mouth now you notice one thing that this deforms the geometry and we're getting those wrinkles right there. So you can see pretty cool wrinkles happening there. And if you'd like to see more wrinkles, if we select the nose and we want to stretch this part, all we need to do is just click, drag and go all the way up. And you can also notice that. So you can see right here, all right? So you can notice how the fat actually comes right here and the blood vessels, or you know, the blood just simply goes towards this part. And this is not only for this part because you can also do the same thing for, you know, the wrinkle on the face or, you know, the forehead. So if I click, we can do something like that. Probably I'll use this as the, you know, the thumbnail. So you can use this and you can get some very decent, looking stuff now most of you guys that might be new to maya or probably you haven't used maya before or you're using maya and you don't know about how to get your gizmo to be placed within the coordinates of your components how you can do this is very simple so all you need to do is hold on control and shift on the keyboard right click and don't select the world don't select object don't select the axis all you need to do is select component and once you have that selected you can now click and use this to do some very nice things so it's very essential to always set this back to zero once you're done working with them so that you can go back and uh you know start using this so i'm also going to select these two and set them back to zero actually i'll select every single thing that i have here and set all of them back to zero and get you know a pretty good result so with this now if you would like to you know make changes to certain parts maybe you want your character to move the eye Yep, you can use this to move the character's eye and you can select as much things as you want. If you also like to use this part as well to get some reaction, yes, you can. So you can use this to get this kind of reaction. So let's get this too. Let's get them looking so, you know, amazed, surprised or sad. I don't know. So we can get that and we can also use this to do some very cool looking stuff. Let's move on and talk about some other things. 
if we also go right here and we turn on the level of detail for you know the lower part of the model you'd also notice that we can animate this part of course you probably wouldn't be seeing anything that you know suggests such thing but if you go over to where you have the show and go down here you would notice that the joint was disabled by default so you can click on this joint button and now you'd notice that you have joints all around the face now how do you access the joints that you have around here since we don't have controllers or you know we don't have a control read what we can do is go right over to this button which you have right here and x-ray that joint so that you can see all of the joints that you have and you'd also notice that this model is not just you know for your regular play and uh you know creating stuff it's also a model or it's a piece that you can use to learn both how to fix bones how to you know place bones directly onto your model especially if you want to use this for multi-purpose things in terms of using this for both games animation and also film you can see all of this joint setup that looks really really nice so we can go ahead select this part and we can now use the rotate and uh, rotate this so most of you guys might still have your rotate in world or maybe you might have it in object but if you're into rigging i would suggest you set this to gimbal at all time so you can now use this to you know to rotate these things and the reason why you're setting it to gimbal is you're only rotating at one particular point contrary to you know selecting this or setting it to world and you know once you start doing that rotation you're actually messing up the entire thing right here so we can also go through make another selection like this and uh, we can use this to also move this to a given part so pretty lovely cool things here i'm actually thinking about you know throwing some motion capture data onto this model see how this would react and uh maybe we can use this and do some sort of hair testing and i don't know maybe we can do some more stuff with this right here in maya i would like you guys to suggest what you would like us to do with these models and uh tell me what your thoughts are about this so for anyone who would like to get this you know you want to jump into this you want to start working with it you need to get the quicksell bridge and you can start playing with this and uh, i'm also going to put a link to these things in the description so you can do well to check them out and if you'd like to see some videos which we talked about how you can work with the quicksell bridge alongside with unreal engine link to that is going to be in the description and also on the end note so simply take a look at those a huge shout out to the folks at epic games for making this one possible and tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace